Hey ladies and gents, we are back with some Avorian, and we are looking at our beginning sector again, our beginning um, faction. Now I generally have a plan, a strategy that I usually follow when I start a game. When I first started playing this game, I had no clue. Not a zero. I usually like to just play the game, see how it turns out. So I started out on the outside sector and I made it all the way to the barrier without doing, without getting a single artifact. And I, I didn't even know what they were, kind of really, I mean I had an idea. You get, you know, these little strange messages that say there's an artifact, whatever. However, there is two artifacts at the beginning of the game that are kind of, that, that are, that will make this progress um, to the edge of the barrier very important. You're going to have to get them anyway, but these two in particular are somewhat important. Now the thing about it is, is we want to get them um, relatively early. It makes this trip a lot easier. Um, and two, uh, they're not that hard to get uh, for the most part. And that's what the first part of the video that I did the other day about making money, getting the cash up and all that kind of stuff and building yourself a decent sized titanium ship is that this strategy that I follow you I, I, I usually use um, there's the you know like I said there's there's the money part there's the shipbuilding part and then I have to go someplace to pick up some certain kind of materials that's gonna make my ships better and then I'm gonna come back and start taking on the bosses well that's one's a boss and one's technically not a boss it's a smuggler but to get to that point um, this was the point of this whole videos series is try to get you the best start you can get in the game um, not just simply flying into space and dying multiple times and figuring it out on your own. Um, I could do, I could, like I said, make videos forever uh, about this, but uh, I'll, I'll eventually do it. <laughs> give me time, give me time. So, now what we have here is after I've located every single, I went around, claimed every asteroid, and I picked up every single um, secret stash. Uh, with all the, the turrets and systems in it, plus all the cash that came out of it. And I ended up with 1.2 million credits and a, f a decent amount of turrets. See, th this is what these are what I found. Um, there was a titanium mining turret, uh, there was a double iron mine turret, there was a ooh, quad bolter turret with 50 damage per second, a chain gun turret, and a titanium. And a couple, you know, there was there was a number of, a lot of salvaging and um, titanium turrets, which ended up pretty nice. These ones with the stars. Um, uh, now, if you haven't noticed here, I'm playing on my galaxy that I normally play on. However, I'm playing as myself. There's a difference, right? There, there's what they call the alliance. This is myself, and then there's the alliance. I'm part, kind of part of the alliance, I guess you want to call it, but I'm also separate which means we have two different sets of diplomacies. The Alliance has a diplomacy with the, the ships in the Alliance, and there's me, myself, personally, uh, that's not, um, well, no, I'm, I mean, I can share things with the, uh, I can share things with the Alliance. Uh, you can see here, if I do the Alliance Vault, I can withdraw and deposit stuff from my, um, myself. Um, so I can, you know, I have all this access to all this materials and credits. Um, I can dip, I can withdraw from this at any time and use it for my own personal ship. Um, th that that's the difference, right? There's your, you yourself, and then there's the alliance. There's two separate entities here. Uh, you can share stuff back and forth, and you also have these different diplomatic relations with um, your with your different factions. So, but to show you in this video, I'm playing as myself and not part of the alliance. So. Um, I emptied all the credits I had in this uh, deal and I started uh, with that and just simply claimed everything I could find in here and ended up with 1.2 million and a decent number of um, systems, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, some nice systems. There was a turret control system and a generator upgrade, uh, which are all nice. These are, if you go to sell them at an equipment dock, are about 100,000 a piece. Um, these ones are obviously less, and then there were some plain common boosters, turn controls, and of course, uh, uh, tech cargo upgrade. So I, I made out with probably mm, 10 turrets and about 6 systems at the secret stashes, plus the credits. So, 
Um, I am currently, um, still haven't fired a shot. I still haven't even really mounted weapons on this thing. Uh, I got a point defense turn in at one time, but that was just more of as I was driving, flying around, sure if I didn't get shot. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, um, haven't even think, all I did was been jumping around, claiming stuff inside the sector. And this is where it kind of becomes interesting. We're going to go shopping. We're going to start looking at equipment depots and see what we can find. Now, there's a couple different ways of finding equipment uh, in this game. And equipment insurance, of course, is blowing up an enemy ship and taking whatever pops out of it. Or you buy it at the equipment dock. Um, this is an equipment dock right here. There's usually, for the most part, at least two equipment docks in every faction. Now, once again, uh, people are like, wow, well, you know, in your last video you said if you jump on the lines, they'll be yellow. Th these are not 100% for a factual, you know, th this is a pr procedurally generated game. Um, what I'm talking about most of the time is it seems to be, you know, um, the general rule. Once again, procedurally generated game, so it's a lot of stuff that can get completely blown out. Depending on how your game... There's a lot of wacky stuff goes on in this game because this game, is, of course, is still in early access. I mean, I just had a teleporter factory the other day that worked for 200 hours. Stop making teleporters. Can't figure out why. Just stopped. Um, there's just wonky stuff that happens in this game that you cannot figure out, fathom, or predict, right? So even when I tell you something like, you know, um, there's two equipment factories in this faction, there might be three. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm just saying most of the time that I've what I observed That's all I can tell you, you know, is that there's at least two equipment depots in every faction So and then most of the time one of them is always in the home sector though the place where their headquarters is located Which I believe is in this sector here um, Their headquarters are not here their headquarters are It'll usually say there'll be something along the lines of there's their headquarters, um, I believe, and there's the other there's the other equipment talk, um, uh, right there. Actually, that's not their headquarters. It'll say headquarters uh, of of the whatever system, right? But there is the other equipment dock is right there. There's so there's at least like I said two equipment docks usually uh, in every one of these. Sometimes there's two entirely depends on the faction uh, but for the most part I've always observed at least two now the equipment docks are generally if you have good relations with them you can buy stuff with them if your relationships are not good with them you won't be able to buy stuff with them so the hence why the getting the claimable asteroids when you sell it to these uh, the corporation your um, your uh, your your rating with them goes up so you're able to buy stuff at their equipment talk. For example, uh, we're going to look at some trade equipment stuff here, what they got. Uh, they have a battery upgrade, a quantum hyperspace upgrade, which is pretty nice for 131000 You have $1.249 million. This, of course, will help you jump further. Uh, there's another turret control. And, of course, there's also uh, mining turrets here that are available. Um, and, of course, there's a chain gun turret. None of this stuff is better than the stuff I found in the secret stashes. So there's nothing really here interesting to me, other than the Quantum 2 hyperspace upgrade. That one will be would be pretty sweet starting out. Now I'm using my own purples, reds, uh, legendary kind of stuff just to show the video. But if you were looking, if you were first starting out in this uh, faction, buying this right here will extend your jump range by three, or if you install it permanently, by seven. So that would be a good buy at 131,000. You already have, you know. 1,249,000. Um, the same thing, yeah, so it would be something that you'd want to pick up, uh, obviously, to make you jump further and uh, all that kind of stuff. There's also a scanner upgrade that you probably don't really need. However, the other thing that would be really nice to find would, of course, be a detector. Uh, didn't see any here. So let's jump to the other one. And we're just looking for some common um, stuff that would be, that's going to make you you know, obviously detectors, radars, and hyperspace are usually some of the things that you really want to look for when you go to these equipment docks. So you have the cash, it's going to be usually under 100,000 credits. 
So you be able, you should be able to load your ship ship up with some decent stuff uh, right off the bat. So, uh, where's the equipment dock? There's the equipment dock. Let's see what he's got for sale. And we're gonna jump in there. Ooh, there's a radar upgrade, and it's a red one. Uh, unfortunately, which means it's an exotic, which is 1.7 million. I don't have that much, but that would be something that would be very nice to have. Um, maybe if I go out and claim some more asteroids and get that, that would be worth buying because that's a deep ra uh, that's a um, deep range um, scanner or deep radar. What that does is allow you to, for example, I'm using a purple one. Um, it allows you to see all the undetected uh, mass, um, the yellow ones we were talking about earlier. There, see. So I'm using a yellow one, and it's showing me where they're all at. That red one would do the exact same thing. Um, but with, like I said, at that price, you don't have enough, maybe. And the thing about it, unfortunately, is if you leave system and, you, and you're away from a while, this equipment's going to change, right? There's not, they're always not going to be the same thing in every one of these. Um, when you come back here, this might not be here. So there's something to remember, you know, make sure you get the credits and all that kind of stuff as quick as possible. Claiming asteroids and all that kind of stuff. So radar upgrade, that would be nice to have. Um, one thing to think about, so like I said, radar object detectors and of course hyperspace are usually the first three and then the titanium salvaging turrets yeah 53 and 64 percent efficiency which is always nice double chain gun once again none of these are any real much better than what I already got from the secret sashes and there's also a mobile merchant that just came in here let's see what he's got I might not be able to buy from him because we don't have a great relations uh, let's see if trade goods nope he's not gonna let me do anything with him so remember that um, equipment docks do a little buying before you start out um, you'll of course have to see what you have of the uh, um, what you get in the secret stashes uh, usually like I said they usually have really good equipment so there's not really, really a, a um, need to go any further than that so um, you're getting ready to go and this is where we're gonna we're gonna change the gameplay a little bit here we're gonna go from where we're at now to the next faction. What we're looking for is specifically a material called Neonite. It is the next, whoops, it is the next uh, material after titanium. And what Neonite does is it gives us a couple really great things. A hyperspace core and it, br it gives us the shield generator. So now you're going to get shields on your ship and you're also going to be able to extend your um, hyperspace jump uh, right now with this ship let's drop off these guys and I'll show you what I'm talking about um, right now I have a only a hyperspace of 2.5 sectors right so with that nail night I'm gonna be able to extend this without using any systems I won't have to put any system upgrades on to my ship I can simply add neonite hyperspace cores to my ship and it's going to allow me to jump further without any systems upgrades and the same thing with the shield generators um, now you're gonna be able to have shields not just rely on your HP to make the difference so um, early game get your get your credits get your ship built um, you know fair size ship and then we're gonna jump to neonite now typically neonite is gonna be found um, you know, we're talking line-wise here. Here's this line. Um, this is going to be the titanium iron out, you know, from about here back will be titanium and iron. And from here forward is going to be neonite. And eventually when you get over here, it's going to be trinium. Um, so to get to this point, and once again, this is another, it, it, it's usually the, um, what you see in every every system is you're going to find a couple wormholes um, there's the worm one wormhole here and one wormhole here wormhole here usually one of them will go to the other side of the galaxy like way down here um, sometimes it's going to be uh, it's going to go to the same place relative or it might be a little closer <coughs> entirely depends on the once again on the game the other one usually does is jumps you ahead at least up to the next level and you want to find these um, 
because because you think about it, if you find the wormhole, you just that's a whole bunch of sectors. If you still have this regular two sector jump or two system jump um, hyperspace to jump all the way across here to get into the neonite, that's a lot of pirates. That's a lot of baddies in here to have to deal with. However, if you can find this wormhole, it'll jump you almost to usually. Once again, usually it's not a 100% fact. We'll get you into the next set to the next uh, material, which is neonite. So, with that said, we are going to jump over to the wormhole, and we're going to get this party started by moving into the neonite region. All right. So let's go back to our systems, um, and we're going to put our uh, our systems back on that we were using. Um, you know, this once again is more for a speed deal. I'm not, um, I'm not terribly worried about it as anything. I'm just trying to get this video so you don't have to watch me play hours and hours and hours of game time uh, for this. So we are going to jump um, to the next, essentially the next faction um, is is what we're up to here. So let's put our regular original equipment back on there, and we're going to jump or we should start here this will be the wormhole it'll usually tell you right there it says two gates one wormhole same way with this one it says uh wormhole so you know where these wormholes are at and they're usually they're going to be long essential lines they're not gates so we're ready to go to the first wormhole to check out um to try to move ahead into space once we get the neonite once we get the hyperspack and have the boss fight and the smuggler to get those two very important artifacts that's going to help you along the way so straight ahead of us is the opening of the wormhole and the one above us here is of course the um the, the gateway system of this faction now as you get a well, i'm going to talk about the gateways too as you get a better relationship with the faction that price is going to go down now i have 1.2 million at this point i'm not really going to jump around a whole lot I'm not going to jump around. Um, I'm going to pretty much use the gate system provided by the faction. Why? It's because it's safer and it takes you directly to where you got to go. Um, so if you still haven't got that hyperspace um, upgrade, uh, you know, I'm, I'm at 1.2 million. It's 200, 200 credits to go and jump through the. It, it makes sense uh, instead of the time and effort. These are instantaneous gates. So you want you to go through it, you'll, you'll go from directly from here to right here. Um, same way if you know if I wanted to go from this this gate to this gate uh, There you go. Uh, this might cost you a little bit more because it's a longer one It might be f four or five hundred credits still doesn't matter It's a re it's relatively cheap and safe to use this gate system after of course you make some credits so we found our wormhole now it's time to trek into the neonite system or the neonite region because we're going to try to find that green shiny glow that makes oh, gives you the badass shields so you can get ready to fight the boss. So now if you're if you're um, you know a uh, a veteran at this game you don't need to do this necessarily. Obviously you can go and beat the uh, the boss because you've did it before so you're you're well aware of how it works. However, if you're new Honestly, this is the safest, most reasonable way of doing it, is once you get these shields, um, you're not going to... It's going to be a much easier fight, uh, in, in my opinion. So now, whoops, excuse me, I'm kind of sick right now, and I'm not feeling the best. I've explored the next faction, and after this last patch, they've expanded the sizes of this faction. This is pre the last patch, you know, you, you watch this in the video. Uh, this is the other day I uploaded the new patch and you can see the size difference in the two factions this was the original factions and this is now what the newer factions look like and I haven't completely even explored this faction because they just keeps going and going so now the factions are much larger uh, than they, what they were which means there's a lot more asteroids claimable asteroids because of the size of it I once again I just simply jumped around and checked every one of these green uh, sectors and we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, almost 20 claimable asteroids in these new very large sect or very large factions. So it's 20 credits, you know, so you're talking two, three million credits just in claimable asteroids now because of these larger factions. So once we, and, and then of course the, the, the sheer number of secret stashes that are involved in this too is ridiculous. So we've got this, we're back to our, we're, we're sitting at the end of our wormhole and we're going to be looking for, these will all be green dots of course to see them. Um, we're going to look for, so that one's got the 1475. We're going to look for Neonite. Uh, and we're going to try to get some Neonite here. So, looking for Neonite. This has been to that green sector. The green blip and see what we can find here. Alright, so we're looking for... Oh, so there's a claimable asteroid I can sell to this faction. And of course there is the trading posts and a couple other things here. But we're still looking for Neonite. And there it is right there. There's your na first Neonite asteroid. And another Neonite asteroid. Now let's grab this... Um, Let's grab this claimable asteroid, we'll sell it to this faction here, and we'll start getting our, um, our upgrades, I guess. Or our, our uh, diplomatic upgrades, so we're a little more friendly here. And we're going to sell it to, yep, we're going to sell it to these guys, 145,000. <laughs> I forgot to mention that as the further you progress into the um, toward the center, the, the the money just gets better. So even a, even an early starting game like this, or an early sector, or early uh, out here. So I'm back to normal, of course, on this. Um, but as, as you progress toward it, the prices for these asteroids go up quite a bit. So we're going to sell it. We've already gained some rep with the um, the UHA. And we're already up to neutral. Yeah, we're still at neutral, I guess. So now we're in the purple. They like us a lot. But yeah, go claim the 20 asteroids. And all the secret stashes and all that kind of stuff. However, we're still back to this point. We need to find... We need to get the Neonites. Now, you can't... When you first start out, you get two iron. Uh, and you also, of course, get your probe. Um, the probe has also has a set of um, mining um, lasers on it. Uh, so, but the problem is is that once you get um, you can only mine stuff that is one material higher than your la than what your mining um, mining laser says. So even if I come up next to this one with this mining, it's gonna mine it off, right? But you notice that I'm not picking up any material. This is still iron lasers and the neonite is two materials higher than iron. So even if I mine it, it's not. I'm not going to gain any material. It'll blow it up, but it won't. Um, I won't be able to mine it. That's why you need. Um, sorry, the titaniums, which are here. Um, the titanium ore mining turret, or just the regular titanium one. Um, we're going to go over these two, the difference between the two of them, in a different video. But right now we're just trying to sh show you the whole um, neo the neonite reason. So using this one right here, since it's a titanium material, uh, it will mine uh, na neonite. No, it won't. Ha you won't be able to do it with iron. Or if you don't want to do it that way, you can simply um, go and find a um, a place where there is a uh, depot, a um, equipment depot. And that will usually, of course, in this region, probably have a neonite mining turret there. Uh, how do you find that? Um, for example, the headquarters system. Um, go to any freighter in the system and go here and ask, where is your home sector? And it'll usually tell you. Unfortunately, in this event, 321.0 ended up being um, destroyed right here. It was destroyed when the rips happened. So it doesn't exist. You know, normally if you're in a different, like, so if I was in, talking to these guys here, the Pirates of Utmabt, whatever, and I ask them where their home system is, uh, their home system is probably over here somewhere, and they'll tell me the coordinates. If I go to that home system, that's usually where there's an equipment dock. Almost every home system has, the headquarters is at, usually has an equipment dock. Unfortunately, this system doesn't because, but they still have, there's still going to be equipment docks here. You just got to find them. Once again, it's all about exploring and going 
you know, green, green to green until you find the equipment dock. If you wanted to, if you needed to. However, I do have a titanium one mining, so I should be easily be able to, I, I will be easily be able to uh, mine uh, the neonite with the titanium. So with that said, uh, let's get to it. Okay, we're going to bring up our ship. Now, um, I was going to do a shipbuilding thing, but here's the thing. I'm not really a great shipbuilder. I mean, I build these ships myself, but I'm not the person that's going to tell you how to build a ship. I mean, you know, I have a general idea. Obviously, that thing goes forward, and the thing is, the, the thing is in the back where the where, where it pushes. Yeah, that's the engines. But yeah, uh, the one couple little hints, tips, and tricks that I'll uh, tell you is typically when you're early game, you want to make sure your ship is relatively accessible. Uh, now, this right here is a big chunk of titanium armor, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to push Control C, which is Control Copy. And once I got that copied, uh, we're going to delete it. Now, on the interior of my ship, we have all kinds of stuff here. We have, uh, that is a titanium generator. Um, these are most likely cargo. Or no, those are, that, that right there is um, for, for crew. There's some more, there's some, there, these are all some more energy. And there is these open spots that I filled in with, um, I put in here for uh, expansion. And they're all just made out of scaffolding. Uh, this is easy because, like I said, uh, once I take this bottom off, I can completely change everything inside here relatively easy. So what we're going to do here is, of course, change this one out, that right there, and we're going to use, we're going to change it into a um, hyperspace core. And to do that, we just we select the hyperspace core, and then we're going to go to transform blocks. So that we're going to turn into... Oops, I don't have any. That's why. All right. Uh, let's take out ten thousand neonite. Right. This is uh, this is acting like I'm I mind that right. So we're gonna transform this block here. There we go. So now you've noticed our hyperspace reach went from two point five. Or I'm sorry. Let's take the uh, systems off so we can show you how this works. Um, my original hyperspace was 2.5. Now it's 5.3. Let's change it to another one. And now it's 6.1. So now if I go outside here, you can see how much bigger my jump range just got by adding hyperspace cores. Pretty easy, right? Um, so now if I want to transfer, oh, we'll transform that one too. So now we're up to seven sectors. You can only get so much out of these, and then you're going to have to start adding systems. So now I just went from 2.5, so I've almost tripled my jump range um right uh, or yeah almost tripled my jump range that when you first start out this is going to be a lot easier jumping around now uh than the 2.5 you were going before now how you get you know seven uh, then you add a system on top of that which might double or even triple that uh, now you're starting to move around the galaxy a little bit better and yeah so that's the real reason why we get want to get to the neonite and get these uh, cores up and running. The next most really important part is, of course, is the um, neonite shield generators. Generators. We're gonna start adding them here. Whoops. And we're out of neonite again. All right. So we're gonna have to uh, let's put on forty thousand just to do this video. Neonites. These are high intensity blocks, so they're gonna acquire a fair amount of neonite. You're gonna have to mine a lot of neonite to make this work but it's well worth it in the end. So we're gonna transform him into a shield generator. So we're up to 5670 for um, shields, and we're gonna add another one. We're up to 11,000. So roughly about the same uh, shield as hull. Not quite. Um, you'll notice that I dropped in whole HP because Neonite does not have the same HP as Titanium. Not a big deal. It doesn't. It didn't drop by what a thousand, fifteen hundred, maybe. However, now I have shield at eleven thousand, and a hull at fourteen thousand. I am looking pretty sweet right now. Other than the fact is, by changing it, I have to get another mechanic or hire some more crew, which isn't a big deal. So now I have what I wanted when I first wanted. I have a. Um, I've added three times my hyperspace reach, and I've added uh, eleven thousand um, HP or uh, shields to my 14,000 HP hole. I am ready right now to go and get into a boss fight. 
no problem. Or the, the boss fight or the smuggler, depending on what you want to do. So now that control C, a copy of that, um, and then I deleted the bottom piece. Now we're going to control V it. And we're going to bring it back up. There's our armor sheet that was um, sitting over top of this. And we'll place it right there. Covered everything back up to the way it was. Relatively close. No, I think I got off a little bit. That's right. We'll set that. Uh, there we go. Back to the way it was. So, upgraded my internal uh, ship. I've picked up shields. I've picked up hyperspace. And we're ready to rock and roll. So now you hear the shields come up, and you'll see here. I just I hit G. If you want if you want to know what your ship looks like for shields and hull, use the G button. And now I can see um, my hull 16.78k, which is at 99.9%. .9%, and now my shields are up and they're running and they're starting to build. However, I do need to buy a mechanic here. I don't think if I have any extra crew. I have five crew. I need one more mechanic. So we're all good. Oh, before I forget, I'm sorry. Um, mining turrets. You, know, you make sure you have to have miners on here. So if I had to put the mining turret on here to show you the video, I would have to add it a couple miners. Four miners or whatever it's going to take for the turret. So right now we're at 24%. 25% for our um, shields. Once that gets fully built up, it'll be 11K uh, for shields. So now, um, in this region right here, you, you can, you're going to run into ships that might have shields. Uh, this is of course the neonite region that's why once we've get once we have shields we're going to go back we're going to go back here now we're godlike because we have shields in a uh, pretty decent hyperspace um, jump however there is if you don't want to go back right away no biggie uh, ex finish exploring this picking up all your free um, claimable asteroids and seeker stashes uh, make the cash while you can you know, like I said, once extent, once now that you've got this extended jump range, this is going to be a lot easier to do this. However, when, we're, when I was talking about the gate system, um, with these barrier breaches, you, you see this area in here that has no blocks, you can't get across that. So either you're going to have to go all the way around, or you're going to have to explore and find the gates that jump it. I suggest finding the gates to jump it, spend the money, Otherwise, you're going to be jumping dit, 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 all the way around. Um, so once you find those, then of course uh, it's far easier just to jump across them. Um, and once you, you, it increases your your um, standing with this uh, organization anyway. So once you pick up all the credits, then of course you can start looking for that. Um, where did I see him here? That uh, equipment depot. You want to find the equipment depot. That would be good. Once you find the equipment depot, they have lots. There's been a lot of changes just in the last patch. The number of trading posts and mines have gone through the roof. I mean, these are almost fully functioning, um, fully functioning systems, even way out here. It was it was pretty ridiculous. There we go. There is the uh, equipment dock. He's way over there. He, like I said, it would be, it's well worth to find them, though. Since this is in the Neonite region, we're going to start picking up some different weapons, most likely similar to the um, uh, the energy-type weapons, not just chain guns or bolters. That's usually what you find on the outside edges. So let's put our stuff back on here for this part of the si this part of the video. We'll jump down there and see what he has for sale. You want to pick up the best stuff you can possibly get before you get in this fight into the fight specifically what we're looking for here is of course um, torpedoes and we're gonna pick up some torpedoes for a reason 18 or so um, so they're a little easier to they're a little easier to um, how many jump gates are here there is two and we're going to, to go to epic pack 2 is the name of that and that is Powering Disciple, which is a north-northwest, and we're going south, so we need the other gate. Where is the other gate at? Zoom out, find the other gate. Please don't be too terrible far away. 
Uh, no, that was the one we're looking at. There you are. He's a little... He's at 20. So he's east, southeast. Yeah, like I said, south. And that's Epic Pack, too. So we're going to jump across this rift uh, and to get into south into a little bit better position here. So we've made our money in the outside systems. Or might We made our money on the first faction. We've moved to the next faction. We've picked up the Neonite. We're going to gain some more, as much credits as we can possibly get here, too, as well. As well as pick up some advanced weaponry uh, as much as we can. Like I said, the veterans don't going to have a problem with this. You know, they're going to be able to take on... Let's get out here. Let's go to that equipment dock. And he's over here. Um, right there. We want to get to him. And... And as you notice, that since it's a non, um, you didn't have to jump, you have no cooldown. A lot of times I use these gates or wormholes as much as possible because I have a 55 second cooldown. Which is, is what it is. So, let's jump there. Let's get, let's see what they have at that equipment dock. Hopefully they have some higher end material. And of course, uh, torpedoes. Thirty-seven seconds. Another little tip and tactic: when you jump into these systems that have nothing in it, um, I I didn't do it here, but I was because I was talking. But do not sit where you where you jumped in at. Get your get get moving, because at any time there could be a um, a group of Zotan or pirates jump in right behind you, um, you know, or they could jump in two or a minute uh, while you're waiting for your cooldown. Just get moving. Um, get away from that initial warp point um, And if they do jump in well, hopefully you're 50 kilometers away and they won't uh, you're just sitting here waiting for your cooldown So yeah, if you jump into an empty system, don't just sit there and wait just initial uh, Warp point all right Now we're in the neonite section. We should get better Better weapons and we for sure should get um uh, torpedoes. Torpedoes are usually the most powerful weapon you will have uh, when you first start out in this game. Um, by far. However, let's see here. I'm sure it does have it. What do we have here? Yep, there's torpedoes. Nice, because you can see the damage, right? 2.1k and 42 and then these are 8, 6, 6 and 18k and 14 and 4.8k. What do we got? Oh, there's an object detector for 68,000. That's nice. We're going to pick that up. And the turret we have, oh, we have a cannon. And that's not, double laser turret. That might be worth it. Uh, triple point. Oh, there we go. Triple rail gun. I like that. I love and a quad plasma. These are all better than what we got. Let's run over and get that. Excuse me, once again. See, we're setting ourselves up for this boss fight. Now a small group of aliens have warped in. I'm not even gonna be bothered with them because there's plenty of system defenses here. This is the reason why, and there's all kinds of neonite here too, if you're not if you're familiar or need it or more of it. Um, we don't have to worry about this fight. All right. We're pulling in next to the equipment dock. We are going to get ready. We're going to want torpedoes, and we're going to want those rail guns. So to get torpedoes, we're going to have to add um, torpedoes to our, our torpedo storage and um, torpedo storage and torpedo tubes. Uh, okay, so torpedo tubes are here, Neonite Torpedo Launcher. Now, the thing about, um, uh, let's do the first, let's do the Neonite Storage first. And we are going to... Honestly, I don't usually use torpedoes unless I'm going after a boss. We're just going to lay him on the bottom here for now. If we decide to keep him, we will. Otherwise, we'll eventually just scrub that uh, and not worry about it. All right, so now we need the tubes. We need a neonite launcher. Um, as you can see, uh, you can make them launch wherever you want. They don't have to be any certain size. Um, they can be is the smallest. They can be this small, and they'll still launch torpedoes. 
or if you want to make it actually look like a torpedo tube, then, you know, you can stick them off the side. Now, they don't have to be attached to storage either. Uh, you can stick this thing way out here in the front if you want, or stick it way up on the top. doesn't really matter. So for this, uh, we're just going to drop, um, uh, let's put, let's mirror this on both sides. Let's put uh, one there and one there. So there's our torpedo tubes on the side. Of course, I just have enough storage. I might not keep this on here. I'm just putting this on for, of course, the boss fight. All right, so torpedo storage is there. We're going to roll over here and we're going to dock. Now I have 1.258 million, so let's trade equipment. Um, we want we want that detector right there. Unfortunately, we cannot buy it because we do not have the uh, good. Uh, it must be at least good to buy exceptional. So I have to increase my um, diplomatic relationship with this to get this detector, which isn't a big deal. Go go grab a couple of um, mines, um, asteroids. Uh, claimable asteroids and of course then you should be able to buy it. The other thing is of course turrets um, That is repair. We cannot get that because once again, it's an exceptional. However, where is that railgun? Ah, there we go. Let's buy that railgun. There's one railgun um, Double laser turrets or plasma 6.11 versus 6.12 41 or 55 uh, continue shots 108, 180. Slots one, slots one. Ooh, that's a tough one. I have the money. Let's buy two of those. And let's buy that. And no, we don't want to buy the cannons. Let's buy the double laser or the two laser turrets. So now we've bought upgraded um, upgraded weaponry uh, in the Neonite region. So we have our well, we have to buy torpedoes, um, neutron or fusion. Uh, Price-wise, that's a 40-kilometer range, and this one's a 36 speed, 5500, 4500. Doesn't really matter. Let's buy those. We're gonna buy as many as we can, and we're full. So we didn't buy a whole lot, but we don't need a whole lot. And to go to torpedoes, now that we've got here, we are of course gonna load them in our tubes. We're gonna push, hover over them, and then hit one, two, to fill that torpedo tube. And um, since we can fill the torpedo tubes, and this is our storage, we can go back in and buy more and fill up the rest of it. Okay, forward enough. Of course, I can go underneath and add more storage, but like this is just for the video. So we're gonna add those in slot two, and we'll do it again. We'll just load it up. We we don't need a whole bunch of torpedoes, so even even at this price, it's not like it's up. It's killing us. It's 50, you know roughly um, 4,700 or whatever it is, and we'll go to three slot. Oops. There we go. Then we'll do four. You can you can add as much storage as you want. If you want to load the shit out of this thing with torpedoes, go ahead. But once again, this is for just for the video. I don't need a lot of torpedoes to do this boss fight, uh, and that's kind of what we're doing here. I'm just giving you the general overview uh, of how this works. Um, all right, let's buy the last set here, and then we should be good and equipped for the boss fight, the next fight that we're going to do. Oops, torpedoes. All right, there we go. So we're gonna put these guys in four. All right, so we have 20 torpedoes, plenty big enough for the boss fight. So we've got ourselves armed quite nicely. Uh, we're gonna install install the uh, turrets on this thing and everything that we're gonna do to get ready for the boss fight. So with that said, guys, um, thanks for watching. And then, like I said, the next video we're gonna be jumping in and getting into the first boss fight. Uh, in the game. So you guys have a good night and thanks for watching.